What's going on, guys? This is not your regular guy. No, no, no. This is your motivation guy. That's right. Your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. I am back again to give you guys another great video. Here we go. What is the main goal of Fortnite Battle Royale? Is it racking up the most kills? Is it getting the win? Or is it about having the best mechanics? Okay, there are multiple answers to this question, but the cold hard truth is that if you cannot get past early game, then you won't be able to achieve any of the possibilities, all right? This is gonna be your ultimate guide on how to win more spawn fights to rack up eliminations early, you know, to help you guys get that one step closer to that sweet victory royale. We're gonna be analyzing pro players like Booga on what he does and his mindset in the early game. We're gonna be talking about different strategies and mindsets, which helps win spawn fights and improves consistency to allow you to be the best player that you can be. So guys, be sure to stick around to the very end of this video for us to help you take your gameplay to the next level. Do you want to take your skill to the next level? Pro Guides offers a number of different services to help you guys get there. This will range from online courses provided by your favorite pro players like Mongrel, Benji, and Lechi. Pro Guides has also introduced a brand new service called Live Courses. This is where content creators share their knowledge about the game and break down in-depth analysts and strategies. So be sure to click the link in the description and head over there. All right, guys, it's about that time. Ladies and gentlemen around the world, listen, Bunch of Crunch Army, it's time to scream this out. Come on, it's time to sit back, relax, and grab some of my favorite candy. Everybody yell out, what is that? It's that Bunch of Crunch. And let's get this started, come on. Okay, so now before we get in this, I want you guys to think, in Fortnite, whether it be solos, duos, or squads, where is your landing spot? Is there a landing spot, you know, where you're just like the most confident about? Do you win spawn fights? These are the questions that you need to be asking yourself if you are serious about improving. So landing spots are often the most overlooked aspect in Fortnite for the average player. However, you know, for pro players, this isn't the case. Pro players will take the time to find a landing spot which is perfect for them. Whether this be solos, duos, or squads, they will adjust their spots so both players are happy to land there. They won't just land at a particular spot. Let's use the agency as an example. Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 2 introduced us to the agency, which was highly regarded as the new Tilted Towers due to its high player count as so many players would contest the spot. Booga landed here in FNCS with his duo stretch. This spot was definitely a great spot, you know, due to the mythic drum gun, and they also had access to the vault, which would grant them a launch pad every single time. A launch pad is a very viable item and competitive, all right? This being said, the cost of landing here is high due to other players wanting the same high risk, high reward loot. So Booga always landed in the same place, all right? He would land either on a gun on the roof, if one is available, or just land and go straight through a vent. Collect three chests, and his duo stretch also had a loot path, which would allow them both to be together underground. Okay, so this isn't by mistake. So pro players will take the time out, you know, to plan and execute the best routes for one another, which are efficient for loot, you know, map control, and allow them to meet at some points for them, you know, just to push and to plan on players as a unit. Map control, guys, is something that we touched upon in the last tip. So this topic is such an important skill to master, man. Like most pro players incorporate this into their training regimen. So it's something that you really need to consider doing. What we mean by map control is positioning yourself at your landing spot where you can either work your way into the middle or you can gain information. You know, as an example of this would be Lazy Lake. Okay, so once again, another popular landing spot, right? So if we look at Lazy Lake, it has good foundations, a center building, which is quite high up. This would be, you know, a good building to gather information on other players and have good map control to plan out where the threats are around you, right? Like who you should look to pressure and, and where is a safe route in case you need to loot more because of bad RNG. An example of working your way through the area could be, you know, landing on the outskirts of the drop spots, right? The reason pros do this is because they know it's unlikely anyone's going to be behind them. This means the threat is going to be in one direction. This allows pro players to control this area by pushing their way deeper into the drop spot and also covers areas they have passed through. So. We've covered where to land. Next, we're gonna be talking about information gathering. Okay, so information gathering is analyzing your landing spot while picking up as much viable information as possible. This could be, you know, to scout where other players are landing, you know, the available loot in the surrounding area and to help plan a loot route. 
If your normal route is being contested, then you already know what loot is around to land on instead. Information, you know, gathering doesn't just stop, you know, once you've landed. In fact, it could be considered more important. You need to have a good eye for detail, guys, so that after you've looted and looked around and try to pick up clues to where the other players could be. Clues could be broken buildings, right? Like floor loot that is, you know, now gone and chests that have been opened. All this is viable information, you know, which is going to help you guys eliminate your opponents. So another step into becoming a pro at spawn fights is prioritizing. Oof. So prioritizing is an important decision you need to make on approach to your drop spot. This can mean, you know, a number of different things. A simple example of this is a weapon spawn or a chest. Now, a chest can be in any item that could range from a pistol to a legendary pump. OK, guys, so this is an unnecessary risk because, you know, you know what weapon is available for floor loot. So it would be a smart play just to land on the weapon of choice instead of risking the chest. You know, also prioritize areas to land where you won't be contested. 50 50 a chest is always, oh my goodness, a massive risk, <laughs> which could result in you returning back to the lobby in seconds. So the best advice that we can give you guys is to look for floor loot while gliding, all right? Avoid, you know, players who may be looking for a 50-50 and finally prioritize, you know, areas where you will have time to collect loot, you know, shield up and get your bearings before engaging in combat. You always want to have an objective in mind when it comes to Fortnite. So, you know, whether you want to win the game or you want to get the most eliminations, the object needs to be consider every decision. Okay, so with that being said, the final tip, guys, can be as controversial. So if the aim of your game is to win, all right, then every decision you need to make has to be based on this. As you can see in this clip, Liquid Stretch is playing in FNCS solos. He has landed Slurpy Swamp, and off the start, he gets a legendary scar, he gets an epic pump, green submachine gun, six minis, and three big shields. I mean, come on, bro. Like, the luck that Stretch is having in this game is, like, unbelievable. <laughs> The important thing is though, like Stretch understands how lucky he is to be getting this loot early on. Now, watching this clip, Stretch looks to engage someone who has contested Slurpee. Gets a few tags on the player and then disengages. Now, this is where the controversy comes in. The reason he disengages is because this is a tournament and Stretch wants to win it. <laughs> so he doesn't just take the risk due to the fact that, you know, he has good loot. So you guys may be asking yourself, why are you telling us Keith Allen to disengage fights and a guide, you know, about winning spawn fights? Well, the reason why I'm telling you this is because, as we said earlier in the video, whatever your aim is, you need to keep that in the back of your head with every decision you make. Stretch clearly didn't feel the need to take the risk and potentially end his game. Okay, everybody, so this is everything that you need to know about spawn fighting in Fortnite, but before the video ends, we gotta do a quick recap, okay, of everything we discussed. So be sure to stick to the very end, though, because we're gonna be sharing something really cool with all of you. Here we go. First, we have is, you know, landing spots. Like, regardless of solos, duels, squads, you need to know your drop spots like the back of your hand to have an advantage over other players contesting the area. So, if you're in a team, you both need to work out, you know, a loot route, which is going to allow you to loot and meet up at some point to work as a team. Okay, guys, map control is second. Keep in mind when landing how you're going to control the area. Thirdly, information gathering. Okay, on approach to your landing spot, keep an eye out for anything of value. You know, this could be loot spawns, you know, where you have players that are landing and alternative routes in case your normal fight is contested. Okay, fourth up, we've got prioritizing. So, if possible, land on floor loot to avoid the risk of RNG from a chest. Avoid contested areas, never 50-50 a chest, and finally prioritize getting the loot and shield you need before engaging. All right, the final tip, keeping the goal in mind, man. Like, we want you to stay focused with the goal in mind. If you don't need to fight because, you know, the goal is to win, disengage. Decision-making, man, in Fortnite will be the ultimate decider in how your game is played. So make sure you are basing every decision around your goal and never forget it. All right, guys, once again, this is your motivation guy. That's right. Your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. Hope you guys are inspired, man. Take these notes, apply it to your game, and I promise you will see yourself improve at the game you love, all right? Thank you guys so much for taking the time out today to watch, and we hope you learned something that is going to help you take your Fortnite abilities to the next level. Real quick, we have created a link in the description, which is our brand new Pro Guys community Discord, all right? Feel free to join the chat with community members. You know, you can find new teammates and so much more. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. And if you want to see more videos from us, please hit that subscribe button and turn on those notifications. Finally, let us know, you know, what you thought about the video and any ideas you may have for the future. All right, guys, we'll see you soon. Peace out.